Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Capricorn. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for May 2022. So this is a new person that you're currently dealing with. So we're going to take a look at this person, uh, what they're currently feeling, thinking towards you, their over energies, what you need to know about them, uh, what they're like, and then we'll finish off the read to see what their long-term intentions are with you uh, and what else you need to know. Uh, apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, it could also be a situation that you haven't met this person yet and this person is coming towards you. You could switch the roles if you want. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, also, um, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your own unique situations, to your energies, uh, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so uh, Capricorn, let's get started. Tell me about this new person that Capricorn is dealing with. What is this person thinking and feeling towards Capricorn? What are their over energies like? What does Capricorn need to know about them? What is this person like for May 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Capricorn. Okay, one more. That's too many. That's too many. Let's do that again. Wow, 10 of cups. We have the tower. Um, seems like this is unexpected. You know, I feel like this person might be in this energy of like kind of going with the flow, you know, not having very high expectations. But I feel like what they want with you, which is this Ten of Cups, is pretty unexpected. Uh, perhaps you're feeling this way. Uh, like I said, you can switch the roles if you want. Uh, with the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy, you could be dealing with the Aries or a Scorpio here, Capricorn. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, you know, I, I, I feel like this is an individual that really enjoys your freedom and their independence, you know, uh, but I feel like this also, this is interesting because I feel like this person also sees you as someone here who's very independent, self-sufficient, perhaps enjoys their single life here, okay? So I feel like in a way, you're, maybe your energies mirror each other, maybe both of you guys, like... Or in this, uh, had this idea of, you know what, we're just going to go with the flow, see what happens, and then bam, like you guys sort of like caught feelings for each other, and now you guys want to perhaps, you know, move forward in the higher, high, uh, high levels of commitment here. But yeah, I feel like you guys went, in it, uh, went into it sort of like with the Seven of Pentacles, let's just take things slow, you know, just see what, what happens. But I, I also feel like there's an energy that you guys don't want to give up your 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 single life or your freedom or something like that. Um, Nine of Pentacles, both of you guys are pretty successful in your money and your career here. We have the King of Wands here and the Page of Pentacles. So King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Could be dealing with another Capricorn here. But yeah, I feel like we have someone here that unexpectedly wants higher levels of commitment. They feel like we have a masculine that's going to offer that to you, okay? Uh, let's see what else we have here, uh, Capricorn. Wow, we have the Queen of Pentacles right here. I mean, we have, this is you right here, so I feel like this individual is seeing, like, long-term with you. This person is seeing you as someone here who is, like, marriage material, who's loyal, who's committed, um, and I feel like this person wants that too. Tell me about the tower. Okay, we have the Fool, so Aries energy, Aquarius energy. Yeah, you know, I feel like Capricorn, I'm feeling like this person is seeing you as someone here who wants to be independent, who wants to be a free bird. This person could be feeling the same way too, but, you know, I feel like the, you know, I just, I, I just feel like this is very unexpected. Yeah, this is just very unexpected. Sort of like going with the flow and then out of nowhere, bam, you know? 
Like, you guys want this now. Seven of Pentacles, and we have the Nine of Swords here. Nine of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. Seems like you guys work pretty well, okay? I feel like you guys are, are on the same page. Um, you know, I feel like someone here might be in their head, maybe worried that things might not work out either. So it could be a situation that someone here hasn't really dealt with something from their past here that they healed from yet, because I feel like maybe someone here doesn't feel confident that it will work out. So I'm about the King of Pentacles here. That's not the King of Pentacles, um, King of Wands. We have the Five of Swords, interesting. So this person is right now in this energy of really looking out for themselves, but at the same time, I feel like this person really, really, really cares about you and really wants this with you. Okay, because I feel like, you know, Capricorn, you could be also in this energy or just looking out for yourself, putting yourself first. All right, tell me about the Page of Pentacles here. And then we have the Moon, Cancer, Pisces energy. So I feel like we have someone here that has a bit of fears, a bit of fear that things won't work out. Yeah. But I feel like they're going to move forward with you anyway. This is interesting because I feel like this person wants to give you everything that you've dreamed of. This is interesting because I feel like you guys are intuitively maybe connected to each other, okay? So uh, let's see what else we have for Capricorn. What else do we have for Capricorn regarding this new person? What is this person's long-term intentions with Capricorn? What else does Capricorn need to know about this new person for May 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Capricorn. Okay. We have the Three of Swords. Oh, Nope, that's too many. We have the Knight of Pentacles here. Seems like someone here is still carrying some sort of, walking around with some sort of broken heart. Heart chakra is completely closed off. But I feel like someone here is taking their sweet old time trying to open up. You know, I feel, with that King of Wands, this person could have went into it just thinking, okay, this could be like a sexual thing. I'm getting like, this could have been like a one night stand energy too. And then out of nowhere, you guys started hanging out more and more and more and more and more. And now this is where we're at. Okay. Ten of Swords and a Knight of Wands. We have the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Swords here. So the scenario of this white night stand thing, thinking like it was like, you know, a one-off sort of thing, I feel like this person's gonna come clean about how they truly feel now. Because like I said, what they want with you and what they feel towards you now, it's completely unexpected. Like I said, it could have been a one-off sort of thing. We have the uh, Ace of Swords and the Seven of Swords, eight, uh, Seven plus, one is eight. So there's definitely some sort of fear here. You know, I feel like someone here is going to come clean and be honest. Like, it was just a one-off thing. I'm just having fun, having a good time. I mean, I feel like this might even hurt you too, because I feel like you've gone through something here that's causing you to worry a bit. Okay, uh, Three of Swords. Let's see what else we have here. Three of Swords, Four of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Ten of Swords, Eight of Wands, Knight of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Swords. We have the Two of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. Oh. You might end up walking away from this Capricorn. I feel like you've been through this before where you had one night stands with people and you jumped into relationships with them and they didn't work out. And I feel like you don't want history to repeat itself again. Yeah, I just feel like you're disengaging from this. You feel like this is like childlike behavior. We have Capricorn energy right there with that double card. Eight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. It seems like you're, you've learned your lessons to 
to step away from things that are no longer serving you. We have the Two of Swords and the Ace of Wands here. Yeah, I just feel like, you know, there's a fear of getting hurt. And I feel like this person also fears that they can't deliver what you're looking for either, even though they want it. Because I feel like you might be dealing with a player here that's left a trail of destruction and has hurt and has hurt many people. Okay, so I feel like you're you're not wanting to be collateral damage, but it's just this is um this is something that you don't want to deal with because I feel like you're seeing red flags with this individual. Yeah, I feel like you're seeing red flags, sort of like a red flag warning, and you're making a run for it. Okay, so yeah, this is, that's quite the development as this read went along. It started out kind of nicely, but yeah. Um, so Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.